Hello, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the pocket organ and what it can do. So looking on the back, I have a headphone jack and on the side, a USB-C port for charging and for um, MIDI out and for programming as well. So if I just plug this small speaker, Okay, here we go. If I just press on the keys, I get major chords. Mm, so. um, and that's it. I can already play my first song with that. If I here I downloaded uh, tablatures for uh, one song, and I can see that the key, the chords here are. D, G, and D, and A. So if I press. In the jungle, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. And that's it. So I can, as I press, I can see the name of the chord on the display. So <clears throat> what if I don't want a major chord? Well, here I have a minor key, which gives me minor chords. Major, minor, you can see it on the screen. Here the difference. I have additional chord shapes, sevens. Augmented, diminished, and suspended. So, um, Okay, also of uh, notice is that all of those 14 keys are actually analog keys, pressure sensitive. So the harder I press, the louder my sound. And that can do some things like like this. So what if I don't want chords, I just want notes? Well. Melody mode, and I have um, but I can do polyphony as well. And I have this fun trick where I can have a sharp by just pressing two keys together. And I don't press them at the same time, I have two notes. So, and I can bend them as well. Drum mode, kids love it. I go back to the chord mode, um, instrument. So here I can choose the sound that I'm getting. So different pianos. Uh, D is for chromatic percussions. E is for organ, reed organ, accordion. F is for guitars and basses. Okay, and then I have um, Capo. Capo is for transposition, and it works just like like it's the naming is just what you would find on uh, guitar tablatures. Capo zero or Capo three. Here. 